Austin police got rid of its DWI unit several years ago because of staffing issues, and that's something that continues to plague the department. But APD is now announcing its no refusal program for people pulled over suspected of DWI is going year round. KXN's Barrett Trown explains why the department is making this change. Uh, impaired driving is one of the top contributors to fatal and serious injury accidents in Austin on our roadways. Austin police say this summer's no refusal proved to be successful in getting drunk drivers off the road. 30% increase in the number of warrants that was that were done in 2024 over the summer than was done in 2023. So we felt that the program was valuable. The department says no refusal will now last year round every night of the week from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. 70% of our DWIs occur during the time that we are running the no refusal initiative. APD used to have a full time DWI unit, but staffing shortages caused it to be dismantled. Those officers were put back on the streets. I would love to reinstate the DWI unit and it, it's definitely one of our goals. Uh, unfortunately, with the staffing issues that we have, we, we have to figure out where to get those bodies from. The program makes it easy for officers to obtain search warrants for blood samples from suspected impaired drivers who refuse breath or blood tests. Write the warrant and bring it to the judge, um, see if the, if the judge will sign off on that. Before you go out to celebrate or just grab a drink or two. From bike shares to electric scooter programs, utilizing CAP Metro, our public transit service, as well as taxis, and ride shares. The city wants you to think twice before you get behind the wheel drunk. In Austin, Barrett Tryon, KXAN News. An APD did something like this back in 2021. That no refusal effort was four days a week for an entire year. This is all part of the city's Vision Zero program. The goal of the program is to reduce people hurt or killed in crashes to zero. Uh, going in depth, back in July, there were still 330 sworn officer vacancies in the police department, although a September graduating class of cadets cut back on those vacancies. And there was also concern over staffing shortages for emergency dispatchers. The department says that as of last month, there were only 15 vacancies out of 179 positions for dispatchers and call takers. That is a major improvement over July when APD reported that half of their call taker positions were vacant. Today, Austin City Council asked the city manager to take a look at some recruitment strategies for first responders and the associated cost. One of the ideas floated in that resolution, which was brought forward by Council Member Mackenzie Kelly, is to look at housing options for cadets, all to help people going through the academy who don't get paid a lot. I heard stories from um, employees at these public safety associations that told me that they would live in an Airbnb with 10 other cadets and they were struggling to pay the bills. And I want to make sure that we provide an environment for cadets where they can thrive, where they can study, and they have one less thing to think about, which is the roof over their heads. The city manager will now be tasked with bringing some possible solutions back to council. That could mean things like looking at hotel vouchers or working with the apartment association.